In this video, I'm just gonna go over a few different ways to overcome sin if you're struggling to break free from different types of sins. Number one, you gotta pray to God about it sincerely and really from the bottom of your heart want to change, acknowledge that it is a sin and God will deliver you from it. Jesus will deliver you from it. I know because he delivered me from many, many sins, porn, drugs, alcoholism, idolatry, okay? He delivered me from it, so I know he can deliver you from it. Um, but I'm just gonna name some, some just random ones that I think people today are struggling with. If you have any type of drug addiction or alcohol addiction, first of all, acknowledge it. Um, Give it to God, pray about it every single day. Ask God to take the desire away. Ask God to deliver you. Do everything in your power to stop drugs. Go to rehab, try rehab. If it doesn't work the first time, try again. Stop hanging around anyone that does the drug that you're doing or drinks the alcohol that you're addicted to. Whatever it is, you have to avoid that snare, okay? Get away from the people that that provide you with those drugs. Lose their number, block them. Block them, let them know that you no longer do drugs. You're on a new path for righteousness and health, good health, and lose their number. Um, if it's possible, move to another city, another state. I'm just naming possibilities because they say, well, you can't run from sin. Well, you can't run from yourself, but you can leave temptation and give yourself time enough to get stronger and to get, um, let God restore your mind and renew your mind. He did mine. I've been delivered for almost 10 years. Um, if you are addicted to sex, you know, you're committing fornication. You're not married, you just can't stop having sex. Stop dressing provocatively if you're a woman and making yourself an object of sex, a sex object, and bringing unnecessary attention to yourself. If you're a male, stop flirting with every woman. Quit day looking at people and trying to give them that stare of, I want you, I wanna get with you, let's hook up. Stop getting in people's DMs and, and, and stop, stop thirst trapping, just stop it. Study your Bible, read, look at some inspirational videos on YouTube, stuff that I do on my videos. Google how to break uh, addictions, how to overcome generational curses, how to become a follower of Christ. Just look at different videos. If you don't like to read, watch some inspirational, spiritual videos um, under the leadership of Jesus, of course, because you need Jesus. You, got, you can't do it without Jesus. I really don't recommend counselors and all those people, unless you find out that your counselor is a follower of Jesus, because here's my thing, only Jesus can deliver us from sin. I'm sorry. I'm in the medical field and I'm a professional, but I don't put that above Jesus. Sure don't. Um, if you have, if you're, you're addicted to gambling, you can't keep money in your pocket. Give somebody your money to keep that you trust. Like when you cash your check, maybe give them half your money and tell them don't let you have it unless for bills or something. Get people to help you. Give them your, you know, somebody you trust. Like maybe give them your, the information to the bills that need to get paid and give them the money for it so you make sure that those bills get paid and you only leave yourself enough money to eat for the week or whatever. So you don't have money to go blow on drugs and shopping and unnecessary stuff. Quit smoking cigarettes. That's a very unnecessary habit. And it's very expensive. I don't smoke anymore. I used to smoke cigarettes. I think cigarettes are up to $10 a pack now. I don't know. That's ridiculous. Not only do cigarettes take your money, but they're destroying your health. So that's worse than money because your health and your life is priceless. So if you're in the hospital with lung cancer on a ventilator, like what good? The quality of your life is, is very much, um, impacted okay so if you're smoking cigarettes go to a doctor try to get on some nicotine patches or whatever the new um thing is to help you to stop smoking cigarettes but above all always pray give everything to jesus speak against it stop going in the store where there are cigarettes 
I know the way I overcame cigarettes, this is what I did. I'm not saying this is the solution, but I prayed about it. Um, I knew it was a sin. And I also knew that it was destroying my body and my wallet. So I was like, no, no, no. You have to acknowledge these things and speak against it. But then I, um, I uh, limited myself to like two cigarettes a day or three, I can't remember, but I drastically decreased the amount of cigarettes that I smoked. Um, and then I would always tell them, okay, this is the last pack I'm gonna buy. And I really made that my goal. Okay, this is the last pack of set, you set goals and you make them realistic for yourself. So I don't remember exactly how many times I was successful with that, but I did limit myself. I was like, okay, this is the last pack I'm buying. I might've done that two or three times. And then I went to vaping. Um, which is, I'm not saying that's any better, but I vaped and I used the regular nicotine on the vape for about a year or so, I'm not gonna lie. And I weaned myself down to the lower nicotine. And one, you know, I can't even remember the levels of the nicotine, but I kept going down until I eventually got to zero nicotine. They have vapes with just the liquid and there's no nicotine, but believe, I'm not telling you to vape. That is not healthy either. Vaping is unhealthy and I realized that